The topic of this video is letting go of anger. So, how do we let go of anger? First, you have to understand anger. Part of letting go of anger involves forgiveness. Identify the problem. Figure out what specifically you feel hurt over. Let yourself grieve. Interpersonal conflict and resolution can be thought of as a grieving process. Temporarily avoid the person who hurt you. Anger can get out of control when tension escalates between you and the person who hurt you. Replace resentment with compassion. Another way to put this would be to walk in the other person's shoes. Determine if reconciliation is an option. Understand that forgiveness does not automatically lead to reconciliation. Forgive. Recognize that you alone can forgive. Completely letting go of anger means forgiving the person who has hurt you. Take responsibility for your own actions. Accepting responsibility can start with eliminating negative emotions. One way to do this is to make a list of the three to five strongest negative emotions you feel. And think about how to substitute the negative emotions for a good one. The following video produced by Dr. Christian Conte gives explicit points on how to let go of anger. Letting go. Let's talk about this. Letting go. Hey, I have a great story that I love to tell around this idea of letting go, and I, it's one of my favorites, so I, so I want to see if this is helpful for you. There were these two monks, and they were walking down by the river, and there was a woman who had a dress, and she didn't want to get the dress wet. So the older monk picked the woman up, carried her across the river, and he set her down on the other side. The two monks continued on their way. They were walking for about an hour and finally the young monk looked at the older monk and he said, how could you do that? We took a vow never to touch a woman and yet you just picked that woman right up and carried her across the river. And the older monk looked at the younger monk and he said, brother, I set that woman down an hour ago, so why are you still carrying her? I love that story because it really highlights how we hold on to events that are long since past. When what we really need to do is learn to let go. And I have people write in all the time to my website or the YouTube channel and they're really angry and they say, well, people tell me to let go. Well, how am I supposed to let go? Well, are you ready for it? Because I'm about to tell you exactly what you need to do. And I need to tell you this. The answer is really simple, but that doesn't mean that it's simple to do. Here's the reality. Our mind can only think about so many things at once. So if you choose to think about the things that caused you anger, then you're holding on to it. But if you can replace whatever you were thinking about with something new, it's going to be an active process and it's going to take self-discipline on your part. But if you can replace what you were thinking about with something new, it will change things for you and you really will let go. And think about the things that keep you holding on to anger. One of the things is entitlement. When people feel really entitled, like the world should have gone the way I wanted it to go, things should have happened for me the way I demanded they should have happened, then we can be really entitled and hold on to anger. The other thing that happens is we become really self-focused. Like, this shouldn't have happened to me. How dare this happen to me? I can't let it go. I was slighted. I was wronged. And so we hold on to it. But when we're able to let go of that self-focus, when we're able to let go of that 
sense of entitlement. And we realize we live in a world that is not fair. It's not supposed to be fair. We live in a world that is going to be rough at times and cause us pain at times. And when we learn to align our expectations with the reality that the world will let us down at times, then we are much more able to handle it. When we focus on others and doing things for others, then we're not simultaneously focusing on ourselves and our own anger. So part of the process of letting go is shifting the focus from me, me, me to what can I do to help others. Now, this is not an easy thing to do. And especially if you've practiced for a really long time, getting good at holding on to anger. You might have even formed an identity around being really angry around this certain area of your life. And so for you, it might mean letting go, might mean letting go of your identity a little bit. But what I hope to have you understand is this, your identity is not you being angry. You're much more than that. And the other thing I want to bring to your attention is this. If something caused you pain in the past, and that moment in time is done and gone, then you continually replaying it is only bringing that pain to the present moment. And if it was something hurtful from someone who was in a dark place at the time and hurt you, why let that darkness live on? The only way to get rid of it, the only way to honestly let go, is to actively replace those thoughts with something else. Again, replacing thoughts of entitlement and this is how the world should have been with things like what can I do to help others what can I actively do to bring my gifts and talents to the world and help others and how can I be grateful for the things that I do have instead of being so focused on the things I don't have the things that didn't go my way well he didn't say what I thought he should have said she didn't say what I thought she should have said they didn't do what I thought they should have done instead of focusing on what you don't have instead have gratitude for what you do have the more you can actively replace those thoughts of negativity and anger with thoughts of gratitude and compassion and what you can do for others the more you will actually, really, truly, honestly be able to let go. As always, more than anything else, I wish you much peace. Why You So Mad is an anger management course that covers this topic and many more. If you need help getting your anger under control, then the education and prevention programs at Life Skills Academy can help. Go to lindamcqueen.org. Once you're there, the page will open up to Life Skills Academy. Again, go to lindamcqueen.org. The page will open up to Life Skills Academy. Once you're there, Please take advantage of our forums, chats, group meetings, webinars, and hangouts. If you have any questions, please email us. A link to the website and email address will be provided below. A certificate of completion will be issued upon completion of courses taken with Life Skills Academy. Life Skills Academy provides a platform for our students, participants, and guests to discuss with each other the issues they are facing. There, they can share stories, heal wounds, and take back their lives. Create your own group in the forum today. Go to lindamcqueen.org. The page will open up to Life Skills Academy. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Remember to like and share. And if any of you can donate to this channel, please do. Go to lindamcqueen.org.
to make your donation. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.